coding in Swift Playgrounds using switch control. In this example, I'm going to use my switch. I need to open my switch access app on my phone and my iPad. And then on the iPad, select Bluetooth MIDI and on the phone, advertise, and then just select the switch on the iPad as the device. And there we go. We've got communicating using switch control wirelessly over Bluetooth. Now, if I go to my menu and turn on switch control, I've already got long press set up as an action, and that's the recipe I'm going to use here for coding. So I'm going to navigate using my switch here, open Swift Playgrounds, and we're going to do a bit of coding. So let's select Learn to Code 1. So I'm going to scan across and select, tap to select. So I'm using a combination of short presses and long presses to navigate and to select items. So now I want to complete this exercise. So I'm going to navigate down to the editable code, select that and get the uh, shortcuts suggestions up. There we go. And I need to make byte move forward three times and then collect the gem. So once, let's select another move forward, select again and again. And now we'll need to select collect gem. There we go. Select. And now I just need to navigate to the run my code button to execute this code. So there you see we've done a piece of coding in Swift Playgrounds using switch control and using Scoob Music's wireless switch controller connected to an iPhone. Let's run that control, run that code, select, and there we go. Hopefully Byte is going to collect that gem. There it goes, one, two, three, bingo. There you go, coding using a switch.